hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of creative ad design in a photoshop and how to do that i'll show you step by steps and you are just getting over here a nice smart watch and here are some specifications and here are the price and the title as well and customized shape and the background here is some write up which is the clock clock like that and like a watermark and here is the title so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i'm going to the file and going to the new options from here i'll take a background or artboard which is 1200 and 1200 and pixel density i will make it 300 pixel per inch and hit the create button and after that if we analyze this one uh, here is a background which is a gradient type background and then the shapes so at first i'll create the background with a gradient and the shapes as well and other stuff so here at first go to just unlock this one and go to the fx options and go to the here the gradient and color gradient or, or gradient overlay so after that the select over here select this portion and this portion here is two gradient colors so mix up with the two colors is a gradient or three or four colors is gradient so mix up with the uh, upper then one color is a gradient for that so at first this gradient i will just apply the color code here i will provide you color code so this one control c and after that control v and hit ok and the other side color code that is like that so this one and i'll paste over here so select over here and just paste it out and hit ok and here is soft light mode make it normal and then you can drag it like that and you have to change the direction of the uh, like uh, 120 degree direction this one and to make it reverse like that and make the opacity 100% and you will get the 100% mode and hit ok so we are getting here the background that is done and now we will place the wrist watch from our stock image and i will provide you that stock image download link in the video description and go to the file and place embedded options i downloaded some stock images or png files which is the transparent background and place over here so after that make it smaller place the shift button and hold it and place over here okay that's fine and after that i will provide a shadow for the realistic look and save this one right press and restylize the layer and give the name that is the watch that's good and i'll save the file i'm giving the name creative ad and hit the ok button and after that select the layer which is the background layer bg layer i'm giving the name okay after that take a new blank layer from here and just reset the foreground and background color take make it black so go to the brush tool and here take the brush which one is first and just select once you'll get a like shadow press ctrl t and make it like that stretch like that and after that press the ctrl button and just stretch like that so it will be more realistic so you can make it like this so that's good and hit the tick button and press ctrl t and you can rotate this out and place over here so press ctrl j and press ctrl t for that and make it a little bit bigger and like that and make more like that so you can move this one so that's good and hit the tick button and you can adjust the opacity select over here and just scroll the mouse and you'll get the opacity like that so after that let's see what the write up and the other steps and the shapes as well so at first i'll write down the write ups from here i'll go to the rectangle tool so i'll draw a rectangle like that and which is the white color and then 
I'll write down something that is the title cool so cool and make the color of the text white and then right press and blending options from here drop shadow so drop shadow setting will be like that 5 to 2 and the 23 percent opacity and the no color and the mood is normal so hit the ok button and after that another text which is clock so i'll make the clock size or clock write up that is bigger so like that and hit the tick button and select these two things press ctrl t and make it smaller like that that's good and select this one cool this one and right press over here and copy the layer style and clock and paste the layer style so that's good and adjust the shape with that that's good and if you have doubt to align this one select these two things and do two text and just align them too that's good and after that write something like specification so for the tutorial purpose i'll copy this one from here so copying the just taking the text and that's good so how i get the tick button from here uh, so this one is the thing to learn uh, this one is a, a glee fix so uh, you can write down something in the easiest way or normal way after that uh, you can go to the glee fix where you will get the glee fix uh, go to the window and here is the uh, glee fix so uh, glyphs or glee fix whatever you can tell and which is and after going that you will get the things which is like that if i make it bigger you'll get the list from here you can get the symbols like uh, uh, dots and uh, uh, ticks and other stuff so this one is uh, nice for the typography or add design so after that um, align that like uh, with the line from here and after that i'll just make this one so this one is a button how to make this one so make a shape from the uh, just rectangle tool take a rectangle tool like that that's good and make the rectangle color that is white and here you will getting uh, some things so which is the corner will be round like that so link this one at first and round it so link this one and round it like that that's good and press ctrl t if you need to adjust this one so that's good that's good and then align that to the left of all the things so right press and paste the layer style so you'll get that copy things to drop shadow in these the button as well so text again and write down something and press ctrl t and you can make it bigger like that and change the color so i'll just pick the color from here go to the uh, character tools or go to the window and characters from here so here is the characters and pick the color from here that's good and use the font that is junior and i will provide you that font download link in my video description and then select do these two things shape that is the button okay and these two things align them all okay these two things is a button and this one specification and those are the title making it group and those are the product so i made all the things in a group or like i'm making the colors like that title will be red and specification orange or blue uh, green whatever and button will be blue like that so i just uh, uh, separated all the things so when you need to edit all the things you can do uh, easily and you can find define easily so this one is the background as well so here uh, the web address uh, write down some web address like that uh, which one is the real web address of your product giving the color is the white color that's good and change the font which is like robototype font 
Roboto regular or light type font and giving the space between two letters 100 that's good and make this one in a middle so control a and just in a middle that's good now time for adding the shapes and like that so where i will get the shapes go to the shape option customize shapes tool and you'll get the shape like that so here where is the shape yeah like that so add some shapes over here okay that's good and give the color double press over here and make it white easily you can do that so like this like this and control j and take this one actually this one shape when you are copying this one be careful uh, it will be moved there randomly so after that press ctrl j and take this one actually this one so move this one here you can make it bigger by pressing ctrl t and press the shape button and hold it and then here as well i'll take this one so this shape and copy this one to this portion that's good and press ctrl j and i can take this one in the upper side so you are getting these type of things and one thing in a background here is a clock right up so what i have to do at first i'll select these shapes making it group and give the name and now for the extra look i'll provide the names of like that so clock i'll copy that thing so go to the title and clock this one press ctrl j and taking this one in the outside of the group and give them color no color okay and press ctrl t make it bigger so like this and place it over here and like this like this and this and like this so that's good so all the things i'll make it group press ctrl t and make it a little bit bigger like that and take it in the background upper than the background yeah that's good and now i'll make the opacity five percent or seven is good okay that's making more sense so here is like that and you are getting over here like that so if you need you can make it more creative i just shown you the way how to make it like that in a easiest way so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and sorry and apology for the background unnecessary sound and this one is my home and today is a rush day in a, like in my area so thank you so much thanks for watching my video and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you need the stock things or stock resource files please check out my video description for the download link and until the next video i may say i'll be signing out today bye bye